Hey guys, I'm Micah. And I'm Camden. And welcome to Trick or Tear. Where we're going to rank all of the most popular Halloween candies. Starting us off today, what do you think we should uh, indulge ourselves in first here? I definitely so think we, uh, we start on this chocolate side here. We, yeah, yeah. I think it's as powerful. You, as you guys don't see as much, we have a chocolate laid outside and we have a non chocolate laid outside. At the end of this, there will be a poll on our Instagram where you guys can decide whose tier list of candies is better. Um, obviously, it's not going to be that much of a competition, but, you know, we'll put it out well, there for you. Um, so you want to start us on the chocolate side here? Sure, yeah. Let me just explain the tier list real quick. Uh, obviously, our highest ranking is S, and we go down to F. Let's, let's get going on let's these M&Ms. This, yeah. All right. M&Ms. Now, really, this is really a common. Look at this. This is not in the normal M&Ms. We've got the purple and Let's start and purple. The, Ready? Yeah, purple, here we go. I think they all taste the same. Do they? I, think there's, I don't think there's a I really thought difference. they were flavored. Yeah. It's good. It's timeless. Yeah, it's good. So, this one for me... It feels like, like, it's the bottom of the bag, but it's not the bottom bottom. No, bag. yeah, for sure. Like, it's not the bottom of the bad bag, it's the bottom of the good bag. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, for, for me, I'm going to a very solid C tier. I'm going to also go C. Anyways, next up, do we kick it up one more Reese's? I think we stay away from peanuts right now. Okay. And let's just go into the uh, classic Kit Kat. Mine's got the wafer sticking out. You know what I don't like about this? What you it's a little bit thicker. Than your average Kit Kat, no? Mm, yeah, the miniature smaller ones are a bit dustier. Yeah, I Not prefer. More you want to get that snap in, right? Uh, yeah, that's that what they break. advertise it as. Right. So, the way for the chocolate sure. scale is too much, and therefore it drops it for me. But it is still, you know. I just threw my. Yep, go ahead. <laughs> it's that thing. I, I noticed we both did that. Yep. Whereas we needed to put this on the board. So, uh, this one I'm dropping down to an E tier myself. Wow, E tier. Slow. I am going to take into account if you get a king size Kit Kat. It's probably going to be a little bit higher. Okay. Okay, so is that C tier or D tier? That's D tier. All right. All right, next I'm going to go up to uh, my father's favorite candy bar I ever made, mm -hmm. and that is a Heath bar. Okay. Now, these ones are weird. Is your father are... named Heath? Um, no. Oh, okay. His name's Brian. Mm. So Heath bars, the thing is, these things are tough. Like, this is a, this is a strong person's candy right here. Okay. And that's what I like about it. It's got some cheers in there. Let's, let's take this thing. It's also gluten-free. Oh, Yeah. Um, obviously, the toffee here, very salty, very strong. I like it. Um, I don't think it's a candy you could eat in uh, large quantities. If you eat Heath bars, you drink black coffee. I think this is a quick rating. It doesn't take much, not much to it. It's a it's good like bar. Secretly an old person candy, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go B. Oh, my gosh, dude. It's a, be it's a little bit better than M&M's. Not as classic, but. Actually, no. Oh, well, that's fine. Bring it up to A tier. Are you really? Yeah, no. Powerful boy right it's there. It's not good enough for that, but I'm that's fine. I'm of the salt and the chocolate. goes well together. You can try. I think we move uh, to one of the worst candies ever invented, and oh, that no. is the Whopper. Oh, you son of a gun! I don't understand how incredible this this piece of candy is right here. You need that. Go, go get it. Yeah, go get it. <laughs> I think Camden's I think Cam bad for this one. Whoppers are amazing. They're right up there next to Heath for me. I think I speak for everyone when I put it down in the F tier. I think you speak for the people who are incorrect. Actually, no. What? Next candy. We move to the peanut section. There is no G tier. Okay. Ghoulish green Snickers. Now these are some glorious fun size fun. Um. Now these I think are the Halloween candy in my opinion. Sure. Sure. Um, uh, yeah, they're classic, right? They come uh, a I lot. Don't know if they come a lot. <laughs> I don't know if Camden will be able to do this one. Camden, tell us about your weird food thing. Okay, so I am unable to eat any food that's themed as, I don't know, what, brains, You've got to eat gross, it. something Halloween you have to eat uh, it. thing. So we're going to try with, this. I'll be right here with you. I don't know why you would change the normal Snickers. Nobody wants ghoulish green, but it's fine. It's green. It's green in there. Some ghouls and <sighs> chocolate. Still not good at opening? Okay, here yep. we go. Ready? Well, cheers. Yep. Oh, God. Why is it green? There's green in there. I'm not going to finish that. I'll finish yours. Okay. You know, this one, it rides with M&M for me. That's what I'm showing. I think Snickers and M&M. I think Snickers are a bit better than M&M, actually. I'm put this on a B tier for okay. me. Okay. Um, i fix the board. Right. Um, unfortunately, uh, I'm going to label this Snickers ghoulish green version. So good. A E. They should call it ghoulishly good. Okay, here we go. Last candy in the chocolate section, we have the Reese's Cup, a miniature version. Incredible stuff right here. This says miniature, so. The problem is... You have that satisfying ripoff, well, right, that, all the way a around. Whole chunk of but, chocolate. But my Reese's cup has a mouth, and I don't think that's supposed to be like that. So I'm gonna. We got the same rip here. Look at that. 
Well, maybe that maybe it's designed that way. Maybe right? they're like lovers. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe she's cup. Maybe she's three or four cup. Now, is it like sushi? Like, do I have to eat the whole thing in one bite? Or? That's what I usually do, but that's like, my thing, if anything is like sushi size or below, it? it's a one bite, one bite thing. Much better than a Butterfinger. Um, it's good, you know? I'm not going to say sorry about it, so I'm going to put it in uh, B tier here. There we go. First of all, this is an F for me. Oh, God. In a way, too much sticking to the tongue, too much sticking to the teeth. Got some problems Ugh. there. Well, speaking of sticking, um, we're going to move to the uh, gummy candies, right? Yep. Um, or well, some of fruit flavored are, yeah. candies. I like them. Uh, let's, start, let's start from the top this time and work our way down. Uh, first up, Twizzlers Twists. Twizzlers Twists. Strawberry flavored. That was not necessary, but um, we move. I haven't taken a bite of these yet, but I'm going to go. I wouldn't. Oh my god, plastic? I'm going to put it put it high. I'm more of a Red Vines man myself. But no, I'm absolutely good. a Red Vines man because you don't get plastic and you get food. Yeah, and I'm going to go, I'm gonna go D tier. I'm going to go D tier. Next up. Not even going to believe it. Twizzlers. Twizzlers. This one. Now oh, this is pull and peel, ladies and gentlemen. Pull and peel. Cherry. Functional and tasty. Might be pull and peel, but I can't pull it out of the wrapper. <laughs> Absorb this wonderful creation uh, in 2022. Ready? Huh? Did you just bite into it? <laughs> I, I we just did it. this. We need a pull and peel. I, I, I bit into it before it got into the... Oh, right. Now, this one, this one hops for me. Check that out. That's a pull. While I do love the singular strands of Twizzler, my fingers peel. are unbelievably sticky at the oh, moment. it's terrible. And I don't like when my fingers are sticky. Will that help you open other candies? Oh, that might be true. Maybe that's what I was missing. We should just time lapse us taking one strand of a time out of this. I'm gonna go E. I'm gonna go E. Because I just prefer the regular Twizzler. Are you uh, about ready to move on? D tier. Okay. You say sticky fingers. Okay. I say save for later. When you move to what I would consider my top three, um, what which one do you want to start with? What the heck is wrong with you? I say we start with Starburst. Starburst. Star. Unbelievably juicy. Absolutely incredible. It's like the, yep. I already know, before this fruit punch, I know where this is going. It's an A-tier candy. This should be a tier for me. I'm not quite high. I'm not quite A. Oh. Well, you get the point. Gotta save the best for last. <laughs> okay. Sour Patch Sour Kids. Sour Patch Kids. Here we go. Are they different flavored? Are these different flavored? They're just different colored. Huh? Obviously, they're different flavors. It's just what would the one flavor be? The universal sour? flavor. Got them by the hair. That's a lemon. Sour Patch Kids, aka best. Thing Big ever. question here. Where do you bite when you uh? The whole thing. Okay. Well, my, like if this is my molars, I slide it right in there, and then I flat down. One more time. I don't know why. I prefer to let them suffer, and uh, go I'll go. Ahead. I'll go like foot first, right? Oh, so you're like gingerbread man in this right. man. Like from Shrek? And then, the when they're done, then I eat the whole thing. Okay! Now we are going to taste the rainbow. I'm about to taste all the rainbow at once. What are your thoughts? Just shock, shock, go out of this thing. Ready? Cheers. And then just go. Mm. Mm. I got one. No. I got one. I think it could be better. Okay. There's not enough rainbow. I just came off the sour patch and the strawberries. But it's just so much fruit punching. Whereas now, big turn. Big turn. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to make an announcement. The best candy <laughs> skills. That's so not true. In fact, in order to properly portray my opinions, Ooh. we're going extra whopper simply because. They're that good. I think we know who to vote for. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, find that Instagram. Do the voting. I still have so many Skittles in my mouth. Vote. You do the exit. Trick. Treat. And uh, don't hurt yourself.